I guess it's time to get uh, started and start getting into the video portion of this thing. Um, yeah. Before we get into the, the meat of, of the whole process, I want to talk about the equipment, the software, and my team a little bit. Um, thank you guys. Dwayne Davis, uh, David McKenzie from the UK at um, HD Test, HD TV Test, and Ed Johnson in the back. Um, put in a lot of a lot of hours. We worked for the better part of three very long days to uh, not only just calibrate and get these things optimized, but to get our heads around them because they're brand new models. Which I got to thank Robert also for putting this on year in and year out. This particular year is for us, I think particularly beneficial in that every one of these, with one, only one exception, is just coming to the market right now. And for what we do in the field, it's very valuable for us because we got all this time to actually find out what's going on with these TVs. So when we go out in the field, we're not getting one for the first time. So that's kind of, it's a beneficial thing for us as well. And we spent three solid days working on these things. Um, so I want to thank you guys for your help. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about the equipment and the software used to do it also because those companies need recognition. Um, the meter that I use is a point-and-shoot device from Minolta, kind of Minolta called CS200. Um, it's the baby brother of a bench piece of the CS2000, which a lot of television manufacturers actually use in their labs to analyze picture performance. Um, I calibrated the Elite with that device. I attempted to calibrate the new Panasonic WT50 LED um, using control cal software to implement the ISF C3 modes, the ISF day and night modes. Um, unfortunately on the Panasonic I found some issues, some performance issues that were specific to the ISF that we're going to have to get to Panasonic to control cal to see if they can work those out. So um, I did not achieve the performance level that I, I thought that that panel was capable of. So David McKenzie took over and did it in custom mode with um, his K10, Klein K10 meter. Uh, Dwayne is using a K10 as well, uh, both profiled against uh, a PR655 photo research spectro radiometer. Ed Johnson used a K10 in the back as well. Uh, generators, uh, Ed and I use video forge devices. Uh, Dwayne uses an Acupel, is it a 4000? 4000. 4000. Um, I have a, a QD, a quantum data QD 780 in the back, which is what's generating this black level uh, pluge test pattern that you're seeing on all the screens right now. Uh, we use SpectraCal, um, CalMan Pro software to collect the data, tabulate the data for you, which will be available on Robert's website, on my website, Tweet TV, in a few days once I get the chance to write this piece up, which I do every year. Um, we have a spreadsheet with contrast ratio numbers, uh, black level measurement numbers uh, for all six of the panels, which you're going to, you're going to, you probably have that now. Actually. In fact, you should if you don't. Um, have we handed out the spreadsheet with those? So, yeah. if you're interested in that data, you can refer to that or ask one of us anytime we get while we're going through this. Um, and we also compared them so that we knew everybody was. All of these things have been put on a level playing field. It's always important to, to make sure that people understand that. Um, we're going to prove that to you as we move forward through the process by going through the most important elements of picture quality. Um, we're going to show you test patterns that are going to show you that black level is set correctly. Um, we're going to go into color decoding, all these different things. Um, we match peak light output on all the panels at anywhere, somewhere between 33 and 35. 35 being the bill of 35 foot lanterns. And for, for viewers in Europe, that's 120 nits. Roughly, <laughs> yeah. Foot lanterns equal to, I believe, 3.42 uh, candelas per meter squared, right, right? So multiply, excuse me, a candela per meter. A candela is equal to 3.42 yeah. foot lanterns. That's so just do the math and you get the number roughly 120 or so. Um, and then the software used is also real important. We've, we've all been using uh, CalMan Pro software to measure, calibrate, and tabulate data for years now. Um, and we did that for the calibration process of these panels. Um, the other software company that's extremely supportive and very valuable in the industry for us and for our customers is Control Cal. And they've been doing ISFC3 interface software for several years now. 
um, with Pioneer, with Panasonic, Mitsubishi, um, Mitsubishi right? Um, and I'm sure that they will. Oh, and now also with with you know, um, and Sharp. So uh, thanks to those companies for the generous support. Because let me tell you, um, when we have a problem, we make a phone call. They're helping us out. Um, we've added one one test to this year's. Uh, shootout that we haven't had in previous years and uh, it's uh, color tracking we measure all six colors all three primaries red green and blue all three uh, secondary cyan magenta and yellow uh, with a new beta version of calaman uh, which is version 5.0 it's not out yet but i got on the beta team and it has the capability of measuring the tracking of these colors at different luminance levels um, we've, we've found issues with some TVs where tracking is not perfect and you can actually see it. And so we threw this into the mix. The software is so new that it's not fully capable yet, but we'll show you the data later on the screen when we get to that portion of it. Um, it's able to do five different women's that's levels at this point in time, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. And that's valuable information. Um, we'll get to that a little bit later. So. Uh, as we, as I always talk about, basically what we're here to do is, the goal obviously is to determine what is the best black panel for this given calendar year 2012. The, um, the methodology of it is, I like to talk, since we have a very limited period of time, about the most important picture performance parameters that the human eye sees when it's looking at a picture. Okay. Um, in descending order, their contrast ratio, which is number one. We all know that all you have to do is look on the side of the TV box before you unbox it, and it's one million to one, <laughs> two million to one, uh, infinity, infinity, whatever the number. Um, so it is the most important, and it's basically governed by black level performance, especially in a situation like this where we've matched peak light output to a certain number. Um, second on the list is color, uh, the amount of color, color saturation actually, which is all about uh, accurate color decoding. And we did have issues with some products last year where that the decoding was not accurate. In fact, we have one this year as well, which we'll show you a little bit later. Um, and so if, if your decoding is faulty in some way, um, one of the most common things, of course, would be red push you would be forced to, in the process of setting color with test patterns, desaturating it and bringing it down um, in order to make skin tones and other things look natural. Uh, what that does is, unfortunately, you lose color resolution in all three primaries because all three colors get brought down at the same time. Um, so that's number two. Number three is also color related. It's, we call it colorimetry, and that is color decoding, it's grayscale tracking accuracy, color gamut accuracy, which would also include uh, the luminance of colors, which is extremely important to how the color looks in terms of whether it looks correct or not. And the fourth and final item on the list is resolution. Um, and so we'll take you through resolution, motion, motion resolu resolution testing with different formats, um, 1080 IHD video, uh, 1080p film. Uh, David McKenzie is going to have quite a bit to say on this because part of what he does for a living uh, is mastering DVD video in the UK. Um, and he knows a lot about it and he's extremely, his eyes are extremely sensitive to errors going on the screen. He showed Wayne and I and Ed some things that we weren't picking up. Um, so that should be pretty interesting as well. And so for starters, uh, let's knock the light down and we're going to start talking about contrast ratio.